So today I've got a bit of a hair video for you and I do get asked a lot of questions about my hair and I was watching Birdie's channel, Birdie with a Y and they do this kind of video where they invite people on to talk about their top, just top five, top five, just, just top five things top five things, something like that anyway. So they talk about top five beauty, top five hair, top five skincare, and today I'm gonna do just my top five, my top five, why can't I say it? Just my top five. But let me just show you them and tell you what, what they are because I absolutely love them. If you've got thick, curly, or long, or coarse, crazy hair like me, then um, these, these products are gonna be perfect for you. These are products that I would definitely buy again, have bought again, love them, I think they're good value for money, they do what they say on the packaging, they're just brilliant products, like really well, they work really well, um, and just like, you know, good price point, just really, really good. So let me get on. The first product that I am gonna show you is the Kerastase Ole Relax Slim. I've had this for so long, look, it's pretty much empty. I've probably got another five more goes of this, and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this. I every time i come out of the shower i put this in my wet hair i run it through my wet hair this is a product that a hairdresser introduced to me and said you know with you, when you have frizzy hair this is a good product to use because it obviously um sleeks your hair out a little bit and makes the blow drying process a little bit easier now i have had brazilian hair straightening keratin hair straightening whatever you want to call it so kind of making my hair sleeker is not as big a problem these days. However, I just really have gotten used to this product because I think, you know, even if I, my, I've had the straightening in my hair, I find I still have flyaways, I still have little frizzies, I still have like, my hairline is still very frizzy. So I think this product all around just helps with all of that. I don't put too much into my roots. This is just mainly for kind of the ends and probably a little bit around my edges and I, love this. I don't even know if you can actually still get it. They've probably changed the packaging since I've had this for God knows how many years, but I love it. And the next one, I really don't need to give this one too much of an intro. It's the L'Oreal L-Net Hairspray. Probably, you guys probably use this or have heard of this. It is a little bit more expensive than most hairsprays, but there's just something about this one that always makes me go back to it. I use hairspray nearly every single day, either just to put a little bit of um, control in my curls or if I've got straight hair to flatten my hair down or stick flyaways or whatever that might be but I use hairspray pretty much daily and this is you know this one is just one of the best it's not crunchy it just works with your hair smells good um, and yeah all around really really good I actually just bought this one as a full one yesterday because my other one which was a giant one ran out some of you guys may have may have heard of this brand this is the we finishing cream and this is by Jen Atkin I think she is the Kardashians hairdresser this is fantastic. It's also quite a creamy texture. It looks something like this. Um, so all you end up doing, that is like, that it, it is called a finishing cream and it's pretty much, that's what it does. It kind of, you just work it through your ends and it just takes out the frizz when you've got curly hair and it just gives you a bit of shine and definition um, of your curls. But also if your hair's straight, it just helps kind of take those frizzies away and I just love it this and I've just become my go-to finishing cream I've always I was looking I've always been looking for the perfect finishing cream and I think I found it I absolutely love it like you know when your hair has got some curls in it and I put these in last night these with a curling one and I find that when I wake up they are quite frizzy they've broken up a little bit they're quite but they're still quite frizzy so that finishing cream I just put it into the ends and it just separates them out a little bit and just you can see there, it just makes them look, you know, quite defined, but not too defined. It's it's a balance for me. I don't want them to look separated, but I want them to look, you know, like like you can see a little bit of the curl. I do like kind of the messy, crazy look, so I don't mind that too much. But you can see what I mean there. Now another item I use kind of as a finishing um, product is the Moroccan oil Glimmer Shine. Again, this was introduced to me by my current hair salon, and they use this in my hair. And there's something about it, it gives your hair a bit of a shine, a bit of a nice finish without any grease, and I just really like it. It just kind of perks up your hair and brightens it up a bit and just makes it look nice in photos, and it smells delicious. Delicious? Probably not delicious, I'm not gonna eat it, but it smells divine, it's so lovely, and I just really, 
kind of you know after a couple of days it just perks up your hair a bit and brings it back to life and doesn't make it look so old and dull and my hair does look quite kind of dull after a few days of washing it so I think that's why I like that it just perks it up and it looks a little bit fresher and like you know I just washed my hair and I just curled it and just you know it looks like perfect so um love love that product so ever since I've got it I've been using that so that's probably a uh, you know I've used a fair amount actually wow and <laughs> <laughs> more than I realized um, but love that and all these products I'll definitely repurchase now I've left my final favorite current favorite hair product till the end because this is one called living proof full dry volume blast now the reason I came across this brand was I was in Sephora probably back in January when I was in the States and there was like a little small size of this when you, you know when you're um, in the line and they have all the little small samples or small kind of vacation I don't know what you call them but travel size ones so I picked up I just picked it up I don't even know why just on a whim I just picked it up I absolutely loved it the smell the finish I absolutely loved it so I'm not really sure I mean it says styling and finishing spray but the way I've been using it is a bit of a dry shampoo so what I do is I'll show you I literally pick up my hair spray it and it doesn't leave that white residue which I love spray it and then just go like this Oh, it smells so good. The other day I put some in my hair and Ash literally asked me, he was like, what's your perfume? And I was like, I haven't got any on, but it was my, it's this stuff. Um, and you can see, it just gives it that volume and lift and body. There you go. And it takes away the kind of greasiness. Now my hair's not very greasy right now because I've only just, I think, when did I wash it? It was just yesterday actually when I got it cut. So it's not very greasy yet, but in about, my hair tends to get greasy at the moment in the heat on day three, day four that's when that comes into its own. I literally just pick up layers of hair, spray one in there or spray another one in there and maybe on the top and then just kind of with my fingers and it just takes all the grease away and gives me, just gives me that body and really brings my hair like back to a bit of its freshness. So um, love, love, love that. Um, and they are my top five products. So I have so many hair products that I've loved over the years, but you know, these have kind of, I mean, yeah, a couple of, yeah, a couple of them are new, but the other ones have kind of stuck with me for years. And that, you know, when you, with so many products out there, when you stay to something, stick to something consistently for a period of time, you know, you really love it because there's so much competition out there for hair products that you could try different things all the time. But this is probably my current routine. So if you want kind of body and volume and a bit of shine and this kind of hair, they are definitely the products to go for. I didn't tell you about my shampoo and conditioner because that would have been six items, but I'll tell you anyway, just so I can cheat. It's the keratin, keratin, it's the Kiehl's amino acid shampoo and conditioner. They are absolutely amazing. They leave your hair squeaky, squeaky clean. When you use this many products in your hair, you need something that really cleans your hair and my scalp because I do suffer from dandruff. So they're the ones that I'm currently using. I love them. I've purchased them two times already. So they've become my new favorite shampoo and conditioner. I've been using them for about four months now. Um, and that's it, that's my top five hair items. I'm gonna do my top five beauty, top five skincare, top five whatever you guys request as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks Birdie for giving me this idea for a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye.